Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22. It totaled 26 mods were released today. All platforms got 14 new and 8 updates, including a new Chipping Nort map with a new gen crossplay got one update. A PC and Mac players also got two new and one updates themselves. Of course, we will look at every new mod plus customization and we will review everything that got an update. Timestamps are linked below if you want to skip ahead. Otherwise, let's jump right in. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have a new map, Chipping Nort. Norton from FS Landscaping. This is a technically a fictional map based on the popular location in English Cotswolds. Uh, most of you probably know this as Clarkson's Farm uh, from Amazon. And yeah, that's what it is, uh, I'll say loosely based on uh, for copyright reasons. It's, it is not that farm, but it is based on that region and this just happens to be there. I think is the way it's put. Uh, here's his office right here. You can go in there and here is the farm as well as the, uh, I can't remember which building this was, but it's a, it's a cattle barn in here. Of course, this is your little hill area. And over here, you may have recognized all of this stuff from the TV show, which is pretty darn cool. It's also got its own uh, little thing in here. Check this out. Where is Chipping Norton at? There it is. Uh, you can get a silver Deutzwar. This is custom to the map, so this is not a mod. It just comes in the map itself. And then we have all of our equipment over here on the edge. Uh, plenty of equipment for doing pretty much anything that you need to do. If we come to this point in the map right here, you can actually see, well, we did a video here and actually got to meet Caleb and we sat at this table. Well, it was a table that was kind of in between both of these, but that's where we sat. Uh, this is very, very similar and it's kind of interesting playing this in a video game. There was even people in here selling food. It was kind of cool. And then down here, I think this has been shut down since. However, this is a little restaurant that they put together for that with a little bit of parking. Uh, so you have that if you want to. Uh, a lot of this stuff has been turned into sell points. So, of course, we have farm restaurant, we have farm shop, things like that. There's also a couple really interesting points of interest. So here at the top right hand corner, we have the vehicle shop. If you want to do some quarry work, well, you can do that. He has included a quarry. So You've got a very, very thick layer of rock right here and then stone and uh, all the way down into here. So you could actually have a little bit of fun doing some quarry work. If you want to grab your excavator, you're good to go. And uh, there is a massive forest on this map too. Up here. Bam. One of my favorite things about this map are the miniature mills and different productions. So uh, down here, if I could show you guys on the map itself, we are down at the bottom right hand corner. We have the miniature flour mill, miniature sugar mill and miniature creamery. And all of this stuff is inside the building. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before, but uh, they're already starting to produce things, which is kind of neat. You can see right here, uh, we do have some milk in there for the miniature creamery. We actually start off with a lot of stuff. We have the BGA, we've got bread cakes, grape juice, large greenhouse, mini creamery, mini flour mill, there's nothing in there, and the mini sugar mill, which there's nothing in there either. Going into the normal way that we would do a video like this, just kind of skipped a bunch of stuff. Um, we have a lot of fields that we start with. I mean, a bunch of fields. I mean, this is a full uh, two kilometer by two kilometer map, and we own, I don't know, what is that, like, fifth of the map something like that it's ridiculous pretty sweet you can also buy the outside of the map for zero dollars great job there it's always a good test and uh yeah all kinds of stuff through there whether it be uh, arable fields or regular fields itty bitty little land areas stuff like that you've got it all in new farmer mode we actually get quite a bit of equipment so we have the bureau and small tractors we have the uh, duitz far 8280 uh, which is the Chipping Norton, the, the gray one. It's supposed to be the Lamborghini, but I don't know if that's uh, licensed or not. Anyway, I think there's a mod of it. You can get that if you want to. We also have the Klaus Axian 800. We have a New Holland CH770. And we have a JCB Telehandler, which I think is very similar to the one that Caleb uses. We also have the Pickup 2017. We have a Crampy half pipe, And we have a header that goes along with our combine. We do have quite a bit of potato equipment. So we've got a, uh, what was that, a planter as well as a uh, header and a chopper we've got stuff for doing sugar beads we've got a really big cultivator which is nice nice cedar and we have a planter even big sprayer bell loaders we have stuff for doing animals a bit for doing animals we have an animal transport trailer which you will need if you want to play realistically you've also got telehandler tools and a header trailer this map oh i'm inside <laughs> this map has got 
all kinds of stuff, and there's so much more that I haven't been able to show off. I'm sure Mr. Silly P is going to do a really, really fine job doing a video on this, so make sure you uh, keep a lookout for that. Your next mod today for all platforms is the Massey Ferguson 274S Landini 6550. That's right, we have a pack of mods. You know, we don't get too many Landinis. Customization options are going to be pretty much identical for all of these, so let's take a look at the Landini. This is the four-wheel drive version. Front weight on here, we have yes or no. That's going to be a 500 kilogram front weight. Engines, we have 65, 70, 80, and back down. Wheel brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, BKT, Fedestan, and back in. Do we have duels? <laughs> yeah, we do. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, yeah. Also, I saw these wheels in real life. I think some people from the United States, myself included, may not see these types of wheels in the back too often. Uh, they were fairly popular. They were on quite a few different things at Agritechnica last week, so that was kind of neat. Interior setups. We have Design Numero Uno. We also have number two, which is a darker color and back to it front fenders yes or no rear fenders we have a regular design we also have a back extension on there if you want that beacon we've got one on the left one on the right both or neither front loader attacher on the front we have a quickie the hour or nothing so nice base game stuff through there uh, main color here that's going to be the body frame and then we have the front kind of grill surrounding and then that is it as far as your colors for the Massey Ferguson, that is only going to be the frame at the bottom. Next is our Bureau 6105 6135. I found this one interesting because we have the 6105 and we also have a 6135. And this is both put together from a different motor. Very interesting. 100 horsepower on there with a 25 kilometer per hour max speed or 15 miles an hour. Maybe we can bump that up to 21 miles per hour. Then we have the 135 horsepower engine with a 24 mile per hour max speed and back down wheel brands. We have Trelleborg. Michelin, Continental, Midas, Vredestein, BKT, and Nokian Tires. Give me the duels. Give me the duels. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Front fenders, yes or no. Roll bar. This is cool. We have a white roll bar, yellow, gray, or nothing. Toolbox. We've got that on the back right-hand side. Yes or no there. Trailer hitch. Uh, anthracite in main color. I guess anthracite is just that black color. So you've got that if you need it. Front loaders. We have the Hauer. Stroll, which is nice, or nothing. Main color, we have a lot of different stuff, so you don't have to have a, a yellow and green bureau if you don't want to. And then we have color for the hood as well, so that's nice. Let's go black there. Seat color, yellow, because we can. Radiator, let's go gray. Rim color, red, and well, we have a license plate. Next is the Deutz Agro Star 671 681. Engines, we have 160 or 185 horsepower. Wheel options, we have Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin, Nukian, Continental, Vredestein, and back in. So same wheel options as normal. They're just way out of order. <laughs> and it doesn't look like we have uh, duels, at least on Trelleborg. Designs, we have standard. You can do a left beacon, right beacon, or both or neither extra lighting we've got some around towards the front do we have extra lighting on the back too no so it's just around towards the front attachers we have 30 kilogram front weight we could do a 275 a 605 935 and we even have a front hydraulic so you could do whatever you want to front loader options include quickie hauer lizard not really sure what that is uh maybe stole not quite sure uh or nothing front fenders yes or no and we have a license plate yeah we got something really cool for you nice treat from custom modding the john deere s 600 series combines now we have their versions of these which are looking fresh we have four options in here we have the 660 670 680 and the 690 these are going to change your capacity options as well as your horsepower rating so we can go all the way from 325 up to 550 and that's exactly what we're going to do i'm going to show you guys the big version right here so let's go with that uh, 550 horsepower as mentioned lizard tires which look to be i think those are firestones can't be sure 100 but i think they are uh, we also have michelin setup a john deere setup so we can throw some really nice tracks on the front we have the power flex tracks from lizard or those susie tracks i don't think so i'm not quite sure what those are uh nonetheless let's just go back to lizard and we also have the uh the smaller setup at the back how about that let's go there axle lengths we have standard and then we can bump it up so we have some spacers for the rear 
man, all the way up to 152 inches. Spreaders, we have the regular tail board, we have the twin disc, the power cast, and back in exhaust options. I believe that's on the back left, or we could bring it up to the top if you want to do that. Numbers, we have standard. You can do numbers one through number nine. They look very good too. Oversized sign, do we get one on the front? No, we do not, but we do have one on the back, so there is that. A Patriot Plot, these are going to be your designs on the side. So you could do American, you could do Canadian, Brazilian, Australian, nothing through there, whatever you want to. Uh, window tinting, we have a standard 25, 50, 75, or regular. Attachments is going to be around towards the back side. We do have a standard trailer hitch under there, but you could throw an extended rear hitch if you want to. Green tank, we have static. We also have static without tarp. These are going to be 14,100 liter. And then we have with the tarp. Then we could do the static and crary big top. That's going to bring us up to 17,623 liters. Or we could do my fold or my favorite, the foldable one, at 14,100 if you want to. Oh, well, yeah, we got the Demco on there too. And then do we have the big top? Yeah, look at that, 24,667. That's so stupid. I love it. All right, where's my folding one? There it is. Oh, no, wait, there's the big top, 17,623. Nice. Pipe, we have the 22-foot static. We can extend that to a little bit. And we have three different versions of that, 26 versions uh, of the static, a couple different options, 28-foot. Uh, and then we have a 28 foot with the extension. So if you use an 18 meter headers, use that one. And then a uh, license plate. And that is it. You will or maybe will see a couple different things depending on which one of these you go with. But regardless of what you choose, these are out now. Oh, I found the Susie tracks. Yeah. Now that's not the only thing that we have for the combines because we also have some custom headers from custom modding. This is the John Deere FD600 series. We have three of them, 9.1, 10.7, and 12.5 meter working with on these. But of course you could use any header you want. These just kind of look really good with them. Crop dividers on here, we have yes or no. Reel over, we have yes or no. Crary wind system, of course, we have single or the double flow. Beautiful. And the numbers, there are numbers on there. I think they're on the back. Yeah, there they are. Do we have one on the side? No, we do not. So only on the back. Next one for all platforms is going to be the Box Tipper from Nico Pixes. These are pretty darn cool. So we have a fillable box, or you, I guess use other pallets in the game if you found something that you like. Uh, but we have different setups here. So we have one for telehandler, wheel loader, and back and forth between both of those. And then we have telehandler and wheel loader for the uh, other bit as well. Now, I will say this because... Uh, I don't know if it's just me or not, but these look identical. And in the description of the mod, there's not two of these. There's only one. So maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm going insane, but I'm pretty sure there's only supposed to be one of these. We do have unlimited color options, so that's pretty darn cool. But I think somebody copied the line of code twice. Regardless, we've got a fillable box here. This is potatoes and sugar beets only, so just heads up there. However, it will hold 4,000 liters, which makes things pretty nice. And next, we have the Lizard Brazilian Trailer Pack from Vinco Mods. This includes three trailers as well. They all weigh a little bit more than the, uh, the rest. And... Well, that's maybe about it, other than the fact that they get just a little bit bigger. Wheel setups on here, we have a standard set. We have a standard set number two, so these are going to match up your uh, base game truck. However, if you go with standard regular, it doesn't, which I kind of like. Support, we have no or yes. It's going to be around towards the front. Fenders, we have number one, number two, and number three, as well as number four. So these are all different galvanized steel looks. Attachment, we have vehicle short hitch. I guess it's going to be on the front. Yep. We also have a vehicle short hitch number two. So a pin or a ball hitch. And then we have the longer setup there. Chassis color, we have a lot of different stuff through here. I don't know if I've seen that specific color setup before. Um, that is a chassis color, but it doesn't seem like anything's changing. Ah, fender color. Interesting choice. And then we have rim colors as well, including chrome. From a different modder, we have a different trailer. The old trailer. This is technically the old lizard trailer pack. We have two of them in here. One of them just kind of holds stuff. We've got a couple different setups for the wood. It is a wood texture, which looks pretty good in my opinion. And then we also have a tipper old trailer. Configuration, we do bail. Uh, it just says bail for all of these, but you could use it, I think, for whatever you want. I mean, that's obviously a logging trailer. This may be you just, the pallets. That 
is a bell trailer. <laughs> and then back to standard again. Tractor triangle on the back, we have yes or no. That is not going to be there if you don't go with the tipper. And then we have the exact same colors, minus the fact, or additional rather, that we have some extra stuff in there. Pretty cool. I hope you like placeables because we got them for you. First, it's enclosed cow husbandry pack from Lancy Boy. Uh, this includes four mods. We have two different sets for your uh, cattle area right here. We have this kind of blue color and then the same green that's on the top of the other building over there. Uh, this, if we come up here, will hold 100 head of a cattle. We have places for slurry right there, around towards the back. We have a place for all of your food and things like that. Let's turn on our help window and see if there's anything that we could do with this. Sometimes Lancy Boy likes to hide things, so uh, let's see. Open animal dialog. So this whole front area is for buying cattle. Uh, over here, looks like we have manure, I'm guessing. Yep, manure, 100,000 liters. And then I think that's about it, all the way towards the around to the back. So there is that. There is the first part. Again, there are two of these. You can't customize the colors individually, uh, but you can choose gray or um, green. And now over here, we have basically the same thing, gray or green for this setup. We can open up the uh, gate from the outside, and then when we come inside, we can turn on and off the lights anywhere, well, in the first half. Not so much in the back half, but at least we've got that. Next, we have the fermenting silo from Celebuki, creator of Alma, Missouri. They have taken, as far as I can tell, the fermenting silo that was on that map. They have put it here on any map that you want. Let's go up to it and check it out. So we have chaff, hay, and grass, and that is going to turn into part silage and part digestate. You can see here we have 100 liters in, and that is going to convert into 95 liters of silage. However... We get 30 liters of digestate, which could help you out in the long run, depending on what you're doing and how you're farming. Please let me jump on top of this. Yes. Uh, around here towards the very back, this is where you are going to get your silage when you are done. And maybe digestate as well, or is that around the front? Digestate is around towards the front. Yes. Next, we have the machine hall with workshop. It's going to cost you about $200,000 or just shy of it. I guess we're going to have to turn on our help when you your menu to uh, get in and out of here. So it looks like we've got that. Then we have to open this door. Now we can go in here and now we can open the gate, but only from the inside. And it opens both doors. A little slow, but hey, you would open both in real life separately anyway. We have the vehicle workshop, so anything you pull in here, you will be able to work on. And then we have a super, super large open area through here. Uh, you can see around towards the front, the doors are going to be right there. And you can open these from the outside, which is kind of neat. Um, the whole thing, all, set, all sets of doors. And I believe you click the button for where they are at. Yes. Just like so. Word. I also want to mention with this, you get a 10,000 liter capacity uh, place for doing your fuel. You've also got a $4,440 income in easy mode for the solar panels on the roof. So this will actually make you some money. Next to last new one for all platforms. Today's going to be the E-Tunnel Double Straight Leg Arc. Now in here, as you can see, we have a bit of a dump. This is going to be for things like pallets and uh, bells, things like that, which is very, very nice to see. And it comes in a lot of different sizes. So if we jump into, I believe it's silos, yeah, right through here, uh, we can hold anywhere from like 208 pieces. We have a kind of a smaller bit here. We have the large one that we place down ourselves, which holds 900. Now there is one thing that I've noticed with the large version. Over here, we have a little guy that is floating in midair. I'm sure this was a bit of an accident. It does turn on the lights, which is nice, but uh, it, she, she floating, boys. <laughs> it's floating. Andrew, last new one for all platforms today is going to be the pallet shelter. They say this is a new shelter for your machines, or I think in this case, it'd probably be machine. It's fairly small, nothing uh, too crazy. We have, uh, yeah, you can turn on the light basically anywhere you are. Also, I really like the light setup. Terra LED. Nice. Jumping over to some mod updates for all platforms. First one is Carpathian Countryside version 102. A new save game is not required for this. They've added the option to choose color of walls or other parts to some placeable buildings, added placeable orchards for apples, pears, apricots, and plums, added advanced greenhouses with new vegetable types of cucumber, green pepper, onion, and watermelon, added compost, which is required in the orchards and greenhouses. This can also be used in the fields as fertilizer, however, 
it is not supported by precision farming dlc or you can sell it for a profit which is also helpful the sheep and chickens now also produce manure if you give them straw sheep now produce milk however this only uh, in husbandry is included in the map or mods that meet the requirements so it's not going to work with everything silage bunker at the sheep farm was changed to manure storage added placeable pigsty variant with small enclosure added option to create fields with a landscaping tool power production pallets can be sold via the train now reduced foliage painting prices adjusted all object storage buildings the automatic object storage feature can now be either enabled or disabled at any time, but to make sure to empty it out first before switching modes. Fix the company vehicles. They no longer need refueling and repairing. It fixed an issue on the side silage pits at the main farm for course play mod helper stopping at the back of the silo. The Campaign of France sees its first update for all platforms, version 1001. Adjustments of the cow feed, adjusting manure production for hens, the two triggers at ETS France, cereals are renamed differently increase in the quality of products to be sold in the production or quantity rather church of farmland repaired new part required whatever that means i'm guessing new safe game um, various objects replaced stable gate replaced pedestrian traffic density adjusted fields 50 and 63 now have the correct purchase price field 20 or 42 gate repaired a pallet manufactured in blocks of 10. Uh, they didn't say, but this sounds like it needs a new game save. We also have an update to the John Deere series 8030 from Agritono version number two. This is an absolutely massive update. So they've added a more powerful version, the 8030, differentiating itself from the others with its five front headlights. And it's also got our spec list right there. There's also more options added to the update. Of course, we have the GPS option has been changed to a separate group. In this case, when the option of the monitor and one of the antennas is selected, you can use the game fold function to raise the steering wheel which will change the driver position giving a better appearance of the vehicle which would be the GPS, I guess. I don't know. Added the option for the Starfire or Star Starfire 3000. It's a rough day today. Added seat height and distance control animations. Added an extra weight option for the rear wheels. The texture of rice tires have been changed to improve quality. And added the hook function to rear hitch, which requires the Volvo DLC. I think they mean added a uh, rear winch, which requires the Platinum. DLC. And an update to the Grim Evo 290 version 1.1 implemented the base game files, added function to load crops from the ground, added beetroot, carrot, and parsnip. So this is, I believe, the first modded harvester that we have now that you can use with that. It's pretty cool. Adjusted the working areas, adjusted the folding speed, and adjusted mouse control. Crescetto SPL pack version 201 added new brand color configs and various minor functional fixes to the machines. And the Guttler Mediana pack version 2001 3D oscillation of the rollers we also have transport box and we have the 450 at 500 working with fixed lizard z240 pzz-6 version 101 and a possibility to set raking or tedding mode and our second update to the curbstone set version 102 rename the mod added new curbstones including lowered versions fixed the clip distance and recreated the store icons next we've got an update just for pc mac ps5 and xbox series xbox one players and ps4 players well you don't need to know about this one. This is Victor V2 version 1.1. Uh, I think this has been translated a little bit because the English isn't in the right order, but we're going to do our best. A new save game is necessary for future updates. They do say that you're welcome to post errors and suggestions under their trailer, wherever that may be. The version 1.1 map is now manure system ready, which again has nothing to do with consoles, unfortunately. The apple juice has been installed as well as small press and production sign under productions. Textures edited and decorations been added. Fix the invisible decorative trees. Spruce trees can now be marked with the platinum DLC. The fallen trees could spawn again. Again, edited a few courtyard buildings. Farm gate on farm two now opens wider at 145 degrees. Traffic has been adjusted. Trigger has been adjusted and enlarged, but we don't know which one. A map overview has been revised, added symbols to apple trees. Gates and meadows are now open by default, only in new safe games and in easy mode, or a new farmer mode rather is what it's called now. The two starting meadows can now also be fertilized. Jumping over to some new ones for PC and Mac players only have a pair of them versus the New Holland TX66. And to answer your question, uh, there's stuff on this that is not licensed for consoles. 
That's why. I can hear you, because I asked the same question. On here we have 266 horsepower, as you would expect, variable transmission, 600 liters of fuel, 24 mile per hour max speed, which you wouldn't expect, that's pretty quick for this, uh, and 8,000 liter capacity. Wheel brand, we have Alliance, we also have Michelin, Trelleborg, Vredestein, Taurus, and Midas. So we have all kinds of stuff through there. Again, some unbranded stuff. Decals, we have uh, type number one and two. We also have three, which I really like that one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back to one again. A uh, warning stripe, we have those around towards the front. Then we have our license plate. Uh, this also comes with a header right here, 6.1 meters. Intro last new one for PC and Mac players today is the improved Harvester Sounds. This global script allows to select an alternative sound for most combine harvesters and forge harvesters by configuring them when buying them in the shop. Intro only update for PC and Mac players this Cresetto SPL Pack additional features version 201. Increased compatibility, the mod, and various minor functional fixes to the machines. And that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. This map is really, really fun, and I'm kind of excited to jump in and just kind of play around on it and maybe go watch uh, Clarkson's Farm on Amazon while I do it. Maybe you're going to do the same thing as well. Hey, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, just hope you have an awesome day. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving yesterday. Happy Black Friday day if you're doing any shopping. And we will see you uh, hopefully Monday with some more mods.